Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Marvel Collector Corey's July box for X-Men, the 20th anniversary. Growing up, um, the X-Men movies had a huge impact on my life, starting in 2000 when it came out. Even prior Spider-Man and Fantastic Four and way before the MCU and even the DC movies like started up again. The X-Men trilogy really had a huge impact on my life and spawned an entire generation of movies and interest in comic book characters as being part of you know filmmaking. Now that Disney owns Fox, um, we're gonna start to see a lot more of this, especially because now it's on Disney Plus and they can actually make money off the merchandise. I'm really excited to see what Disney has in store for the X-Men. But for now, we're gonna take a look back at uh, kinda where it all started. Um, with the 20th anniversary of X-Men. I can't believe it's been 20 years since I saw it in theaters. I was six years old. Uh, I probably had no idea what was going on, but I know for a fact that I loved Hugh Jackman because who didn't? And who doesn't now? Because he's amazing. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Where's the opening? Here. Shirt, 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 shirt. I, I really like this shirt design, so don't get me wrong, I like the shirt design, but it, okay, so it's Wolverine, Professor X, and Cyclops um, on this shirt here, but it's not from the movie, it's from the animated series cartoon that was on TV. It's a really cool shirt of Wolverine, Cyclops, and Professor X. Don't get me wrong, I like the design of this shirt. But what does this have to do with the 20th anniversary? Like, it, they don't, they don't wear this in the movie. Like what? But it really does not have anything to do with the 20th anniversary of X-Men. It has to do with X-Men, which is not in the 20th anniversary because these characters were created a long time ago. So, I don't know. Pin, pin time. Professor X pin. This is a uh, pretty cool pin. I, you know, it's it's Professor X, you know, Pat Patrick Stewart um, in the Cerebro helmet. Pretty cool. I have no questions about this. This is a Nightcrawler decal. It's from, I believe, X-Men 2. Okay. First pop is Mystique as, you know, Wolverine. Now, I gotta say, I actually really like this pop. It's it's specifically from the scene, the very iconic scene in the first X-Men where Mystique, uh, you know, disguises herself as Wolverine. And uh, in this actual scene in the movie, she transforms from Wolverine into Mystique as she does this little spinny kick thingy. This is actually, Pretty lot. You, you know, this is actually pretty cool. I, I actually like this one. Only really because it's, this is actually from the movie. Um, he's wearing, you can clearly see on the back that it is the movie uh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine and then, you know, transforming into Mystique. That I think is pretty cool. Um, I really like the look of this, even though I could see that they're reusing, you know, another Wolverine Hugh Jackman sculpt. All right, next up. All right, Logan, woo. This is a, uh, <laughs> this is Logan from everyone's favorite movie, X-Men Origins Wolverine. As you can see on the back, it actually says the movie in which it's from. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little different from, you know, the other mold of Wolverine. It, you know, he's got the bone claws and it's, it's his World War, like, outfit attire or whatever he was, I don't even remember this in the movie. But it's cool, you know, it's, it's, it's a little different, you know, I have to, I have to give them some credit because they didn't just do the same thing again. I mean, yes, it is another Wolverine pop. So now, technically, there's two Wolverine pops in this box. So the last thing in the box, you get the little pamphlet that shows you what's in the box. And it's just funny because it, it actually says right here, our X-Men box includes a comic inspired X-Men group t-shirt. Um, just thought that was kind of funny. It's like, hey, it's the 20th anniversary of X-Men, but we're gonna put a shirt with the comic designs 
I mean, I like, I still like the shirt. I think it's cool because there's not a lot of X-Men Funko merch. Next month's box is going to be Marvel Zombies, which is pretty cool. I don't really care about, you know, that line of uh, characters. I feel like we're definitely going to get an Iron Man zombie pop. Overall, this is not the worst box I've seen, but I would have liked to have seen maybe a different character, maybe not Mystique, um, but it, it would have been really cool. I mean, I understand that the 20th anniversary doesn't necessarily have to be about the first movie. It could have been from the trilogy or like Days of Future Past Wolverine. I think that would have been really cool just to kind of show like, hey, you know, we like these characters. We're going to show off different variants of them. I think Wolverine with the Bone Claws is a little different. It's different enough to not just be another just kind of random throwaway character and also different enough from the regular Wolverines to where it doesn't kind of look the same. I'm I'm overall kind of okay with this box. It's not the greatest box, but it's a box and I feel like that's the recurring theme <laughs> every two months when I get these. I'm like, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Check my channel for other videos you may enjoy. Um, I do unboxings. I also do other camera related videos. So if you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button and hopefully you'll see more content from me in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.